I think we'll all look back on 2020 as a very exceptional year. We'll all have different memories of how people reacted, responded to the situations in which we find ourselves with this pandemic. I'm standing here today in front of this window of Mother Teresa, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. I've chosen to stand here on this particular theme because she was born in 1910 in Albania, decided that God was calling her to be a religious sister in the Loreto congregation, came, spent some time in Ireland, then was sent to India. And then in India, while working there, she had a real sense that God, within that vocation, was calling her to a very specific job, to respond to the needs of those who were homeless and lying, dying on the streets. I think there's a, an important, maybe two important messages in that that I want to, to share. First of all, Mother Teresa believed, as people have done down through the centuries, that God knows each one of us by name. That we believe in a God who has a dream for what each one of us can be through following the call that he has for us. And the second thing is that we can actually discern, we can actually discover what it is in the concrete circumstances of our lives, as Mother Teresa did, what it is that God is calling each one of us to become by following his path. So a vocation is not just a job that you do, it's where God is calling you, me, everybody else to become the saint, to become the wonderful person, to become the blessing on the world that God knows each of us can be. And we know over this past few weeks and months who the real heroes are. They're not the, the, the plaster cast models, role models out there. They are those who've offered dedication, inspiration, generosity, teamwork, self-sacrifice, all of those things. So when it comes to the role of the church in 2020 and in this decade that's running out ahead of us, I think there's still two things to be discovered. If we are people of faith, I am asking everyone to believe that God has a dream for you. To believe that ordinary, we, normal you, in the ordinary, normal circumstances of your life, that God has a dream for the great saint that you can become. And that in our sacramental church, in our church where the, the whole structured life of prayer um, is, is so strong, there is a need for those who will be prepared to say, not I want to become a religious sister, or I want to become a priest, or I want to become a brother. But in the midst of all the other possible callings that people have in the people of God, that you actually believe God is calling me to do this crazy thing, to spend my life in the service of the gospel. Whether it's in consecrated life, like Mother Teresa in a monastery, or whether it's in, in pastoral ministry, uh, in many forms in, in, in our parishes, but God calls people to respond to the needs of the time. There's an enormous need in our 21st century to respond to the needs of our time. So much distress, lack of sense of meaning, people suffering from all sorts of doubts about the value of living and the value of dying and the meaning of life and all of that. There's a huge chasm out there of people crying out for those who will bear witness to mercy and those who will bear witness to good news. I ask everyone who's following these videos, these clips on our vocations website, to open your heart to say, I believe that God has a dream for me. Asking for wisdom from other people and from prayer as to what God's calling you to. And secondly, to look at the real circumstances of Derry, of Ireland, of Europe, or whatever you happen to be living in the present time. What need is there that God is calling me to respond to? And can I ask you then to trust what you feel in your heart after prayer and guidance, that that is God's way for you. Take it on with generosity, even if you're afraid, even if you doubt your own ability to be, to, to be used, like Mary, like Moses, like the apostles, like people down through the centuries, including Mother Teresa, many people felt, I couldn't do that. But if the Lord says, I need you, don't be afraid to respond. God bless you.